Okay, hi guys, it's Lacey, and today I just woke up, and um, so that's why I look like this lol. And um, I got this really, really cute package in the mail from a really good friend of mine. Her name's Claudette, and um, she's also known as Fluff because she's an artist, and that's her, you know, kind of artist name. And um, this is so cute. I'm gonna open the box and um, show you guys what's inside. Oh my god, she's so damn cute. Aw, she has a little card. And the tissue paper. She's so fancy! I'm gonna read the card first. Aw, she said, Dear Lacey, I hope you will enjoy these vintage gems. I think they have been patiently waiting in my closet for our paths to cross. Thank you for all the joy and magic you bring. Love, Claudette. Oh, I love her so much. That made me cry. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> I love her so much. And like, the, she's so cute with the card. Oh my God. These dresses are amazing. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm shaking a little bit. This is so good. Oh wow. I've never, like, with all of my, like, going to thrift stores and looking on Etsy, I've never seen a vintage piece like this. Like, look how cute it is. It has, um, like a little hole in the chest and then a little bow over it. And it feels so good. It's so cute. And also, I think it's the perfect size for me, too. Oh wow, it's so cute. And like the little tag is cute too. Oh, this is so cute. Ah, don't want to get this all wrangled up. Okay, and then we have another dress. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, this clasp on the back. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a cute little party dress. It's so cute. And it reminds me a bit of, um, Audrey Hepburn in Breakfast in Tiffany's where she has like that big like that pink outfit with the crown and then she has like a mental breakdown and cries and stuff but she looks beautiful. Um, this is such a darling little piece. I love this stuff so much. Thank you so much Claudette. Thanks see the little belt is all cute and the, the skirt of the dress is just so beautiful and flowy. Oh, these pieces are so cute. And also, I don't have many pink, um, like, outfits or clothes at all. So thank you so much for sending me these. I need some, even though I have, I'm obsessed with the color blue, I need more pink in my life. Oh, well. But yeah, these are so cute. I don't even know how to hold these properly. Ah. You. thank you so much so I'm just in case you guys are wondering what I'm getting ready for I'm getting ready to go see Finding Dory finally after like um like I think it's been out for maybe about a week um I'm gonna go see it at the El Capitan in Hollywood so like yeah um I'm really excited for it because um I grew up with actually you know what um like with the as far as Disney stuff goes, I didn't really grow up with, um, like, the Disney princesses or whatever, so I personally don't have, like, a, um, like, an attachment to, uh, dis Disney princesses at all. I was always much more into, like, the, uh, the Pixar stuff, so I was, like, obsessed with, um, oh, I remember my room as a little girl, um, was dressed up as, uh, like in Toy Story Andy's room, so it had like clouds all over it and stuff, and um, 
So I was obsessed with Toy Story, I was obsessed with Monsters Inc., I was obsessed with um, Finding Nemo, and um, let's see, like it's going to be really weird that, um, I don't know, like seeing a sequel like so many years later, kind of like um, Monsters Inc., but like, I don't know, I'm really excited for this film too. So yeah, I'm just getting ready. And just in case what, uh, if you're curious, like what palette I'm using, I'm using this one. It's very shiny. You can see all my dirty fingerprints all over it. Oh, well. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not because it's really loud, but yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Forever 21. Um, let's see. I got, I got myself a pair of jeans because I don't have jeans, so you know. Thought I'd get those. And also they were, um, uh, there was like a really good deal on them, so yeah. Um, and then, I saw this in the window and I knew I had to have it because... Man. Sorry, I'm like trying to do all sorts of things with my hands. It's a David Bowie shirt and it's, uh... It looks like, um... You know, kind of like a vintage style David Bowie shirt from 1974. Oh yeah, it says 1974 right on it, haha. <laughs> um, so, and, so it says David Bowie, 1974, New York City, Philadelphia, and LA. And it's really, really cute. It's like a little like crop top almost type deal. And I think that would look cute with the pants as well. And then, uh, that's it. That's all I got from Forever 21 so far. So, um, as the night, sorry, as the night goes on, I'll keep you guys updated and stuff. It's super cute. Well, Say hello to my friend. Hey, how are you? <laughs> how are you guys? You doing good? Are you doing good? I'm doing good. Right? It's great. How are you? I'm fabulous. <laughs> Fantastic. Amazing. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> so, um, how is the look at the skin? I'm here. Uh, how are you? How is your vlog doing good so far? It's doing alright. That's great. Guys, you should follow him. She's amazing. You should follow him too. I'll put his URL for his Instagram in Hollywood, Johnny Depp, but she's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. She's You're amazing the too. <laughs> oh, you can't see the skin. <laughs> yeah. The El Capitan is proud to present the American Theater Organ Society's Theater Organist of the Year, Rob Richards. Talented Robert, should have a little more around the clock. All right, the jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> and another one. How about a whole school of jellyfish? 
Hey guys, so I just saw Finding Dory and it was an emotional roller coaster actually. I kept on having to hold back tears and um, I don't know, there's a bunch of very like heartfelt moments with it and um, like I mean if you don't like spoilers um, be wary of watching this um, but like I don't I don't want to spoil it though because like it's so good I highly recommend the movie um, and also oh I wish that they um, would have dedicated it to Talia in some way shape or form thank you hi where is dad Oh, there you are. <laughs> How cute! The movie had a lot of like um, very heartfelt moments. I felt like it was a great sequel to the Finding Nemo movie, and um, I don't know. It's just like it explains a lot. There's some like drunk guy who's all like, "So which was better, or whatever, right?" And it's just like I don't know, like. It's not a matter, like, it's the type of sequel that, like, it's not a matter if it's better than the first one, it's like, it adds on to the story, and I think that it was a very great... Oh, hi! Hi, how are you? Um, but yeah, I think it was an amazing uh, sequel. It was almost like a prequel in a way, too, because it explained a lot of Dory's story, and um, I think that she was a great um, female protagonist, and I love that it focused on her story, too. So I'm in the, what is it called? Gilla Deli. Gilla Deli. <laughs> oh, well. And um, the dude at the door gave me chocolates, which is awesome. And they're blue, they're just awesome. And also, um, I really love dark chocolate, so yeah. Um, but they have all sorts of cute little merch, it's so cute. And they have Baby Dory, which is so cute. Isn't she so cute? She has big eyes. Um, and also, they have a little Finding Nemo. Hi! They also have like a little Finding Nemo guy that I used to have when I was little. Um, oh, they have Marlin too, I think, because he has a different facial features. Should we close after you see the movie? I don't know, it might be bite. Wait, they have real life otters here? They have what? Little stuffed animal? Oh, they're right there! They're so cute! Can I see it? See you guys? Aren't they cute? They're kissing. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, oh my god, what are they doing? Kissing. They're so cute. Can we go into the theater from here? Yeah, we probably can, I mean. Um Hey guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed my little night out on the town or whatever you'd like to call that. I really enjoyed seeing Finding Need to Worry and my dog really likes to growl at every single little thing. I'm sorry. Um, I think the shirt looks really, really cute on me. Um, it's super cute. I'm in love with it. And um, also, um, it kind of looks like it's from David Bowie's Diamond Dogs tour, although I'm not entirely sure because, well, like, the color scheme, yeah, but also I think 1974, if I'm correct, is, like, Aladdin Sane era, but I'm not too sure. Um, but, you know, and also these jeans, 
if you can sort of see them. Um, they're so comfortable. I'm so glad I got a pair of jeans and they were only like eight bucks, which are like, you know, awesome. Practically free. Practically free. It's so cheap. It's almost for free, guys. Um, let's see. And also, um, compared to the makeup I had on earlier, I changed it up just a bit for the dress, but I don't know. The green got kind of, um, a little bit more dull because I did have neutrals under it, but you know, it's whatever I guess. But, and also, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, even though, um, I don't know, I'm kind of a hot mess, oh well. And um, this is sort of like a day in the life of me, almost. Um, you know, but yeah. My stomach's growling very loudly, as you can hear. I know I use that joke for pretty much every single video, but you know. When you run out of jokes, sometimes you have to recycle some old ones. Um, or steal other people's, like, thing. cook. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna cut that out. Or you can cut that out. I'm not cutting it out. Why? Because. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is much anyway. So, like, um, yeah, I have, I guess, interesting stories. Celebrity stories. Oh. Celebrity stories. Let me know in the comments below if you want something like that. Um, and if you guys have actually, you know what? I'm thinking about doing another uh, Q and A too because I think it's time for another one because I haven't done it in two years. My last Q and A was two years ago. Can you believe that, dude? Um, I just called my mom, dude. I do that on the often. But um, uh, so if you guys want another Q and A, let me know and let me know any questions you want answered because I'm interested in doing that and I have some more things coming up for you guys. But um, stay tuned for that and also stay tuned for some more vlogs. I enjoy doing these for you guys and um, I don't know because it's fun. And um, I get to show you guys more of what I, what my life's about and also, um, you know, my adventures here in Hollywood land and I don't know. I love it here and I want to show you guys more of that. And I'm also thinking about doing like a tour guide type thing too. So like kind of like Lacey Noel's Hollywood tours. I don't know. But like basically I'll take my camera around and I'll show you guys something and I'll tell you a story about it. So let me get, let me know if you guys are interested in that as well. Um, anyways, I had a wonderful time, uh, you know, hanging out. Um, around Hollywood going to the El Capitan and um, seeing find, Finding Dory. It was really, really fantastic film and the animation was so good. Hmm? Yeah. The animation was like seriously so good and um, so beautiful. Um, and also it's made me fall in love with the ocean again. I love the ocean. I love seaweed. I love the water. <laughs> um, and also did you know that the ocean's not blue, it's the reflection from the sky? Because I knew that. But anyway. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I definitely have. Please like, comment, subscribe, even share this with your friends, I don't know, and um, I'll see you another time. I really, really enjoyed today. Love you guys. Bye.